We are excited to be back with another video on the ABC of EVs, explaining the world of electric vehicles. There's a multitude of ways to charge your EV. And for those that aren't used to the different methods and terminology, let's face it, it can be so confusing. So today we're looking at one of the most popular ways to charge an electric vehicle when you're in a rush, the CCS plug. Stay tuned for details. Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Martin Lee. If you like what we do here, hit subscribe and the bell icon so you never miss a show. So what is CCS? Okay, let's take a step back and get our bearings for a few seconds. What is CCS? Well, CCS stands for Combined Charging System. It's a means of combining the slower Type 1 or Type 2 AC charging socket with an additional two pins below for much faster DC charging. So you only need one socket instead of having two, like in the Nissan Leaf, which has had an AC socket and the DC Chadamo socket. So a lot of EV drivers will have a home charger, which will most likely be an AC unit that can deliver about seven kilowatts of power. These are the type one and type two connectors. However, if you're doing a longer road trip, say 400 miles, you'll want to plug into a much faster DC charger en route. So you can get back on the road with maybe a 20 or 30 minute stop. And this is where the CCS plug comes in. Let's take a closer look at the CCS connector for a moment. The popular Type 2 Medicare's plug has two smaller pins on top with five slightly larger pins underneath for grounding and to take the AC current. So instead of having a separate plug for DC charging, the CCS plug just drops the pins for AC charging and enlarges the socket to include two bigger DC current pins. So in this combined socket, you now have the signal pins from the AC charger used in conjunction with the larger DC pins. Hence the name, Combined Charging System. So now we know what the CCS plug is and what it looks like, let's see how they actually came about it in the first place. Charging EVs has changed rapidly over the decade, and this is unlikely to slow down. We released a video just a few weeks ago about the Medicare's Type 2 charging, in which we discussed the development of the Type 2 standard. You can check that out also, so we'll skip over some of those details and jump to the part where CCS comes into this story. The Association of German Engineers proposed the defined standard for CCS charging in late 2011. The next year, a group of seven car makers agreed to implement the standard for DC charging on their cars. That group was made up of Audi, BMW, Daimler, Ford, VW, Porsche, and GM. There would be no looking back from there. Other car makers joined the CCS brigade, and now, well, in European countries, at least where we are, some new EV drivers will never have heard the name Chadamo. It's time to step back into the real world and look at what all of this means for us as EV drivers. The prototypes were developed with a view to delivering up to 100 kilowatts of DC charging. But at the time, the vast majority of cars were limited to about 50 kilowatts anyway. So the early chargers rolled out supplied in the region of 50 kilowatts of power. But thankfully, the development of the CCS standard didn't stop there. Fast forward to 2015 and the advanced technology allowed CCS to develop and show 150 kilowatt chargers. And now, in the 2020s, we see the rollout of 350 kilowatt chargers. The progress is astonishing, it's rapid, and it's very welcome. So it's all well and good throwing out those figures, but it's also important to give a bit of context, right? We mentioned that at the time of developing, most EVs were limited to DC charging up to 50 kilowatts, namely the Nissan Leaf. And the Renault Zoe would charge pretty quickly as well on AC power, but technology in EVs has developed in tandem with chargers. We're now seeing many EVs coming to our showrooms with DC charging capabilities, many of them between 70 and 130 kilowatts. That's kind of the range of charge speeds. The new Hyundai Kona, VW ID4, Peugeot E208 being some popular examples. So even though the tech in the cars has improved, they're still limited to those numbers, even if they plug into a CCS charger capable of delivering more, even up to 350 kilowatts. It's the car that is the limit. But the gap is closing. We're now in the position of being able to buy a number of cars capable of taking well over 200 kilowatts charge speed thanks to the CCS combo plug. The likes of the Tesla Model 3 here in Europe gets limited to 200 kilowatts. The Porsche Taycan and the newly released Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6 will pull around 230 kilowatts. And it's only a matter of time before a car can drive into a motorway service station, plug into a 350 kilowatt high powered charger and quite easily add 500 kilometers of range 
before you even get a coffee and get back to the car. So who's using CCS? Well, this is a tricky one to answer as the goalposts are constantly moving. For example, Japanese manufacturers have traditionally been wedded to Type 1 plus Chatamo charging. Then there's the Nissan Leaf. In later versions, it came with Type 2 for AC charging, but still stuck with the Chatamo plug for DC fast charging. However, the Nissan Aria, due out soon, has ditched Chatamo and will come with the CCS plug, at least for European and US buyers. Tesla themselves manufacture their cars with a number of different connectors to suit the countries where they're sold. So you could say that CCS is primarily a European and North American standard that was driven by European and US manufacturers. But the answer really depends on where you're based. So that's it from us today. Hopefully you learned a little about DC charging using the CCS plug. Now we'd love to hear from you in the comments. So drop us a line below. Let's keep the conversation going. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, what are you using to charge your EV and what's most popular in your region? What's your stance on standardizing various sockets? which could be used by manufacturers around the world. Well, thank you very much for watching today. If you like the show, hit the thumbs up button and we'll know to make more just like this and we'll see you on the next one.